to the 2022 Cal Allen Homecoming Parade. We're set up here in front of the admin building. And uh, we have Jose to my left. I'm Coach Lamb. And we've got a, we're set up on Teague and Walcat Drive. So uh, we hear that the the floats are getting ready to come. So we're getting pretty excited. But it is homecoming week. we got a lot of things going on. So we're going to start you off with a video about uh, Aaron Shepard's going to show us uh, what our hallways look like and what some of our homecoming dress up days are. So stay tuned. Here you go. Tuesday we have barbecue dads versus soccer moms and we have the legendary goat himself coach lamb the ultimate barbecue dad show up on tv to show us a little brisket and ribs on wednesday we have sports jerseys day so you dressed up as your favorite sports team on thursday you have future you day to preview your future career and what you want to go into and friday game day we have maroon and white with all the festive moms garters and everything else i was there that day Alongside the dress-up days, each year the halls have a competition. Each class chooses a theme within the theme to decorate their hall as this year's theme was around the world. The seniors took on Paris, made a beautiful, beautiful hallway. The juniors did Hollywood. The sophomores, they did New Orleans and Mardi Gras, and our freshmen did Japan. Every year we have our homecoming court, our senior court, and the king and queen nominations so our top three that were nominated earlier this year will walk onto the field with their partner and then the king and queen of homecoming will be announced thank you for joining me on this adventure around the world let's take it back to maddie this week is coming week here at cal allen let's see all the festivities they have and, all right, and we're back week we have dress up days uh, each day is a different on. dress up day so we always had something fun to do this week on our homecoming okay. week monday was dynamic duo where people dress up as around. infamous characters so that, that was uh, aaron together. shepherd let you know on what tuesday we had barbie like dad there's a soccer mom of course, had and we had the legendary the goat himself coach lamb the ultimate barbecue dad show up on tv to show us little brisket and ribs tokyo so on wednesday we had sports jerseys day so you dressed up as your favorite sports team really nice and voting went on thursday we have future you day to hallways, preview we'll your future career and what you want to go into on, and uh, friday game day we have maroon and white with all the festive moms garters and everything else we have there another that video to, to share with you we alongside the dress up days Campbell, each year the halls have a competition gonna, uh, each class chooses a theme with within the theme to decorate their hall as this year's theme was around the world here we go. The seniors took on Paris, made a beautiful... That's, I'm here with Coach Campbell. And so, Coach Campbell, tell us, uh, this Friday we're going to be playing against Hidalgo. How are you feeling going into this uh, game? I feel real confident. Um, we, we had an open week. We've been able to get uh, a little wind back in our sail. And, and uh, usually during open week, we go back to the basics, and um, uh, both on offense and defense, and polish up on some things and, and look at some of our deficiencies that we've recognized that have... Uh, kind of plagued us uh, for the first nine games and try to correct those. But no, I'm, I'm ready to go. Let's play. Okay. And then uh, I understand we're going to have some junior JV members uh, get suited up this Friday. What are you expecting from them? Well, I hope they get to play, you know, and <laughs> I'm sure they do too. Um, we, uh, we've, we've got a good game plan and hopefully we can uh, uh, get up on Hidalgo and get some points to where, you know, everybody on the sideline gets to play. Okay, uh, going forward, are we any closer to knowing who we're going to be playing round one? Well, that that district is really scrambled there f uh, for a while, and now it's starting to come into into focus. But um, we think that it's we're going to end up playing the loser of the Beeville Pleasanton game. That game will be played in Pleasanton, and we're kind of actually leaning towards Beeville. We're kind of thinking that we might play Beeville. Thank you, Coach Campbell. Uh, that's all for me. Now let's take it back to the studio. Good morning, Wildcats. I'm here with Coach Campbell. And so, Coach Campbell, tell us, uh, this Friday we're going to be playing against Hidalgo. How are you feeling going into this uh, game? I feel real confident. Um, we've, we had an open week. We've been able to get uh, a little wind back in our sail. And, and uh, usually during open week, we go back to the basics. and. Uh So 
Okay, so you just heard from Devin and Coach Lawrence. They do have a swim meet coming up this Saturday. Swimmers are going over to Victoria. And uh, good luck to those swimmers. Lots going on. We also have uh, volleyball going on tonight. Uh, they are playing in Ingleside. Uh, Lady Cats are in round two of uh, the, the playoffs. We did catch up with Coach Pettis, so let's uh, let's take it over to Hayden, who caught up with Coach Pettis about tonight's matchup. Coach Pettis, the varsity volleyball coach. So, Coach, you had a sweep through y'all's first round against uh, La Fidia. How does that feel, getting a sweep in y'all's first round? It's awesome. Um, of course, we want to continue our playoff run, so we need to start somewhere and one and done, and that's excellent. Girls so, y'all second round of playoff, who do y'all play? We have a possible matchup between Rockport or Divine. They played this evening um, in Kennedy, so we have someone going out to scout them for us. Uh, we will play Thursday regardless, um, either of those teams. So if we play Rockport, we'll be playing in Ingleside. If we end up playing Divine, we'll be playing in Beeville on Thursday. We were Abigail Brown, varsity volleyball player. So Abby, y'all got y'all's first round playoff win against Lafidia. So how did it feel getting that win? Um, honestly, it felt really good. It's kind of like a booster at the beginning, you know, winning the first round, and we're getting ready for the second round. So y'all play Thursday, Thursday most likely against Rockport. So what are y'all going to have to do differently uh, against them since they're a better team? We're definitely going to have to run a faster offense in the front row and just be loud, be ready, and play as hard as we can. All right, thank you. Now back to the studio. I'm here with Coach Pettis, the varsity volleyball coach. So, Coach, you had a sweep through y'all's first round against uh, Lafidia. How's All that right, that was Hayden. It's awesome. Um, of course, we want to continue Pettis. our playoff run. They are so playing we in need to start somewhere tonight. and one and Rockport. done, and that's excellent. And so round two. So y'all second round of playoff. Who do y'all play? They we have, have a possible matchup between Rockport and Divine. They played they this evening um, in district. Kennedy, so we have someone going out to scout them for us. Uh, we will play Thursday uh, regardless, um, either of those teams. Okay, so if Bird's we play Rockport, eat, we'll be so. playing in Ingleside. You know, if we end up playing Divine, soon, we'll be playing in Beeville on Thursday. You still have time we were Abigail Brown, Brown varsity volleyball player. So, Abby, y'all got y'all's first round playoff drinks, and playing against Lafidia. So, how did it feel it's getting that win? Day. Um, nice honestly, sunny. it felt really good. It's kind of like a booster at the beginning, you know, winning the first round. And we're getting ready for the second Yeah, you could see down the... Y'all play Thursday. Thursday, cameras. most likely against Rockford. Just, uh, so what are you going to have to do is a little breezy. Uh, against them? It's not hot by team. no means. We're definitely going to have to run a faster today, offense in the front row. If you're looking and at the, the camera angles we have for you, you can see we got some palm trees and some oaks and ash. All right, and thank you. Now back to the studio. I'm here with Coach Pettis, the varsity volleyball yeah. coach. Yeah. So, Coach, you had a sweep through y'all's first round against uh, Lafitte. a lot of people lining up already on both sides of the street. It's awesome. Uh, Early voting want to continue our playoff is run, so still going on. So we are set up again at the admin building. Excellent. Where so you can uh, y'all second round vote. playoff. Who do y'all play? It's closed we now. We have a possible matchup today, between Rockport or Divine. They play this evening. The day, November I'm in 4th, Kennedy, right? so we have right. someone going out, uh, to, someone going out uh, to scout them for us. Seven, uh, we will play Thursday regardless. Um, right. Either Don't of those teams. So if we play Rockport, we'll be playing in Ingleside. If we end up playing Divine, we'll be playing in Ingleside. Again, at the Cal Administration Building, there is another location you can vote early if you want to. Y'all got y'all's first round playoff playing against Lafidia. So how did it feel getting that win? Um, honestly, is, uh, it felt really good. Violet, so it's kind of like a booster at the early registration, you know, early the voting as well. And, we're and then again, here at the Cal Administration. Y'all play Thursday, Thursday most camp. likely against Rockport. So what are y'all going to have to do differently uh, against them? Since they're a better People team. Their, uh, we're and definitely going to have to run a faster Cal offense in the front row. And Roads are just still be loud, open. Be ready they're allowing some people to get out, can. especially if you live in the All right, thank you. Now back to the studio. We do have officers at every corner. So you ought to sweep the field first round against the Fidia. How's that feel getting there sweeping y'all's first Want to have a good it's time, awesome. Sure uh, of course, we want to continue our playoff run, so we need to start somewhere and one and done, and that's excellent. Girls so, y'all second round of playoff. Who do y'all play? We have a possible matchup between Rockport or. Another big story here at Cal Allen while we're waiting for the floats to come on by is our band. Our band is going to state. Third year in a row going to state. They are area champions. We're going to send it over to uh, Miss Zolikoffer, who caught up with Mr. Valperts. So uh, let's let's take a look at what they got to say. Good morning, cats. My name is Emily, and today I'm here with Mr. Valperts. So, Mr. Valperts, what happened this weekend with the band? 
Well, we had the area marching contest that we uh, we qualified for through region um, areas. The uh, the state qualifying contest as well. We had 32 bands that performed in prelims. The Cal Allen band in prelims came out in first place and got to move into area finals. They took the top top 12 bands into area finals, um, and then Cal Allen band ended up playing placing first and becoming area champions in the finals with, with an amazing performance, amazing performance. And uh, they took uh, the top groups from there to move on to the the state marching contest which is very difficult to get into and uh, so the Cal Allen band will be representing Cal Allen our, our school and our community at the state marching contest next Wednesday in the Allen Zone. That's really cool. Good luck to our band at State next week. That's all from us. Now back to the studio. Good morning, Cats. My name is Emily, and today I'm here with Mr. Valperts. So, Mr. Valperts, what happened this weekend with the band? All right, so got to flip switches here. Sorry, it's kind of hard to switch and go so that was uh emily who caught up with mr valpert you, you heard what i'm saying how many uh, bands competed down here at the uh, area competition the south texas region is one of the largest regions i believe coach uh, or mr goodman said it was the largest geographical area that encompassed all these bands so congratulations to them they are leaving next wednesday to go up to state to compete and uh they placed last year and the year before and I think it was uh, seventh or eighth last year. I know they made it to finals. Yeah, they made it to finals. And I think they were seventh or eighth in state. Sorry, I can't remember exactly, but we uh, we'll have that information for you in the morning on Cal Allen TV. So be sure to tune into there. And if you want to know more what's going on with Cal Allen, check us out on KDF and CW every Saturday. We're on at eleven o'clock in the morning on uh, KDF. And again at five o'clock on the CW, and we just heard the band earlier, so they're uh, they're coming. We uh, we see a fire truck all the way down at the end. Let's see if we can get that camera situated where we could see them coming up. They're just coming off of Cornet. And the parade has begun. That's our local fire department leading the way. You can see our color guard just behind the fire truck and our band is right behind it. So they've put a lot of effort this year. They, they do every year. It's amazing how much work they put in. As a football coach, we'd be out there in the summer getting ready for the kids to come in for two days and band was already out there. Uh, prepping and marching and on the hot asphalt so those oh, kids put in just as much or more time than any other PYL event so it's a lot of work and a huge organization to uh, control all those kids and, and what they do and the equipment big ordeal they have a really nice 
trailer that uh, was donated and fixed up for them so they could load all that equipment up. We're going to go ahead and just show you some of the people already lined up here on Wildcat. That's on the east end of Wildcat and then over here is on the west end of Wildcat so all kinds of people lined up on this side as it will make its turn going around the street. Fire trucks getting closer on Teague so uh, again we are Caddy Corner from Movies Inc. Movies Inc. is a supporter for Cal Allen. In fact, I believe we have an attendance incentive coming up. Kids show up to school. I think no more than, uh, they can't have more than three absences. They'll be treated to a movie, popcorn, drink. We've had that attendance before, uh, incentive. So, you parents, if you're watching, kids, if you're watching, come to school. It's important. You can't learn if you're not here, so. Color Guard is coached by Mrs. Valperts. They've done a wonderful job. Color Guard has been back-to-back -back state champions years past. So, very talented group. And that's hard to do because you get a new group each year. They're going from side to side. Some organizations are providing candy and goodies for the kids that are watching. So some of these kids might be the lucky ones to get some goods. There is our state qualifying marching band.
Mr. Valpert's driving the John Deere. And all the water jugs. Keep those band members hydrated. There's our football team. 9-0 and on the season. A lot of people didn't think that was going to happen with the preseason schedule they had. Quarrel, Flower Bluff, GP. And here they are, 9-0, and about to face Hidalgo for our homecoming game. There's our Cal Allen cheerleaders. Some of those ladies are, you'll see them on our Cal Allen TV show. Candace and Haley both do the weather. Maddie's our female anchor, so a lot of talented young ladies on that float right there. The senior court just went by. Get a king and queen out of that court right there. All right, we got some... Uh, the advertising truck, and we've seen this over there in the parking lot across the street from the football stadium during the games. All right, the golf team. Check out the golf team. There you go. Well, she's a golfer, not a pitcher, so she almost hit us. So golf team's been very successful. That was uh, Brooke. And uh, she's she's actually won a few tournaments already. Next to her was Kaylee. Kayla Brotherton on the other side. Marshall Major. Uh, J.R. Tinnell. Lexi Fowler. All a part of the golf team doing great. So. All right, here comes Hosta. All right, here comes our powerlifting team. Chase Hofstetter, son of Coach Hofstetter, who's our head powerlifting coach. All right, we got the Mike Shaw Toyota truck. Pulling the uh, middle school football players. There's another trailer full of middle school football trailers. At least I think they're middle school. All four teams swept GP this past Tuesday. Uh, 
seventh grade A team was undefeated on the season. And the uh, eighth grade teams lost one game to GP and then won the last game of the season against GP. So good games if you watch it. It's here at home. Another trailer full of youngsters. Looks like Pirates. McGee, Student Council. Nicely done. Looks like more football players. Not sure what division. All right, it's got to be the soccer team coming up. Is there a theater? He didn't tell me. There's our basketball team. Take another look at them as they drive by. A lot of hopes there, Coach Burnett and Coach Ozuna. Uh, they start, I believe their first game is next week. Uh, the girls play tomorrow. I believe the girls play their first game tomorrow. We had a 94-foot se uh, segment with Coach Spencer. We plan to do that each week. He'll, he'll grab a member of each player from his team and they'll walk the 94 feet which is the distance across uh, the basketball court from one end to the other and you'll get to know on a personal level what the girls are like. And what is it, exactly is it for? Uh, for the Day of the Dead from Mexico. Well, that sounds awesome. <laughs> another one. Alright, sorry if we hurt your ears on that one. We were trying to test our street mic. We do have an interviewer out there trying to get the story, so we just want to make sure it connected to you so we can find out what they're doing. Big semi, let's see what this one's about. The NCYFL from Nueces County Youth Football League. We got the sophomore division. Check them out as they're going by. And here goes uh, the FCCLA starting that up. 
Emily Zolikoffer was on there, and that's part of the Wildcat Cafe. They provide drinks to the teachers and staff, so we appreciate what FCCLA is doing. Coach Luna is bringing it back to Cal Allen, so we like that. You can get hot coffee, hot chocolate. They even introduced iced coffee now. That's a new thing on the menu. Uh, I've introduced a few sweets, such as uh, Twinkies, uh, breakfast pastries. So prices are extremely reasonable, and you're helping out a good cause. That money goes directly back to the FCCLA for whatever needs they have, whether it's transportation to conferences or equipment they need. They're bringing back cooking. Uh, she teaches a lot of different things, and uh, they incorporate a lot with that uh, FCCLA. So and, uh, another big semi. Another youth football league. Taking a page from the Mardi Gras that we have in our hallways. All right, Western Immediate Student Council. Say hello to those guys right there. They drive by. Not quite sure what they were saying, but they were having a lot of fun. Hi. Okay, and we're back. So we just noticed our, our hotspot we're using is uh, not quite producing the bandwidth we need, so we do apologize for that. Uh, we're limiting our bandwidth, uh, and it's going all over the place, so I don't know if it's attributed to how many people are out here, uh, but we're on our own uh, Verizon hotspot, and there's times where it gets good bars and... Times we just gets one bar, so I, I do notice a lot of drops on the frames. And uh, apologize for that. Limited on what we can do here. So, if you guys know of a solution for us to increase our uh, bandwidth on a educator's budget, uh, please put it in the comments. Uh, let us research it and see if we can get a better job on live streams when our Verizon hotspot isn't quite up to par. Not Dog and Verizon, it's just a lot of people out here, and I just noticed uh, the amount of dropped frames we're getting, so. It's not stopping the parade, though. Lots of kiddos going by. We just saw another big semi go by with the Youth Football League. This looks like our baseball team coming around. Hayden Brock, we see Hayden up there. So Hayden Brock's one of our uh, main reporters in the morning. He's the one that uh, caught up with Coach Pettis. So 
Love what that young man is doing, and he's got a bright future in baseball as well. All right, another float coming by. Got the Hawaiian theme going. All right, another uh, youth football league, looks like. That could be middle school. If that's youth, they're big boys. Hey, mind telling me what y'all's float is? Sure, we're pack 65B. We're the first all-girl Cub Scout pack in the area. That's amazing. How long did it take y'all to build the float? 35, 40 minutes. <laughs> Alrighty, thank yeah, you. Thank you. All right, that was uh, Haley Hunley. We finally got her on the mic, so we're trying to get our communications down. Here comes another scout troop. Gotta love the old Broncos. Here's an old Bronco going by. Something about that. 65 Cal Allen, mind telling me what that is? We are a Cub Scout pack out of Grace United Methodist, and we do a lot of camping, we do a lot of hiking, we do a lot of outdoor stuff. Alrighty, thank you. <laughs> and it looks like a dance team. TNT. He just caught me a Tootsie Roll. And there they go. This here is a big Ford F-350. Ah, we got the orange crush. <laughs> what brought y'all to do for the homecoming parade? We love Cal Allen and we wanted to show our support. Thank you. We got the Chick-fil-A cow. <laughs> Proud sponsor of Cal Allen TV. We love Chick-fil-A, so we appreciate what they do for us. We will uh, try to get that fixed in the future. Again, if you guys have solutions for us on an educator's budget, please let us know and we will jump on it to make sure that we get all the live streams out to you guys for all the events. It's still the early season. We're just in our second quarter here at Cal Allen. So lots of sports and events and UIL things to go on. Uh, it's going to be busy in the spring. So if you got an idea of how we could stream better, uh, better hotspot something to get us on the internet let us know for now we're checking out